You and me stuck on the ocean now Nothing but waves in this filling in I wanna dry up but to Just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here All my reasoning have disappeared I wanna bury the hatchet And find the way back to our home Our home, our home We don't have to drift inside this dome I will not let us fade away It's not a price I wanna pay And it's not too late No, we lost our purpose Chasing all that surplus You were all that I need Good morning, friends. Welcome to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Vicky and I create content of lifestyle, homemaking and motherhood. Today's vlog in particular is going to be a lifestyle vlog where you get to see my face as an individual for who I am uh, besides being a mom and a wife. I had to apply my makeup twice. My foundation, I only apply foundation on my cheeks actually, not my entire face. So I had to redo the touch up because i was crying in prayer this morning um i started off praying in tongues for a while playing worship music and i started praying in understanding and what holy spirit was speaking to me about was he was really encouraging me about the love of christ uh, covers a multitude of sin and the other scripture that came to mind is the love of christ leads to repentance right like just loving people in the state that they are in i remember when i was in my uh, youth people called me crazy because um i was sick i was mentally sick i was lost i was um in depression i was um harming myself cutting myself and jumping from one boyfriend to another i was really really lost and sick and under demonic oppression but um a lot of people i remember they were us teenagers the girls i used to hang out with and people called me crazy but i was not crazy i was true <laughs> i was lost right holy spirit was reminding me of that today like a lot of times we want to love people only when they are better like no I, I keep on trying to help this person i keep on trying to help this child this child is just so rebellious Hanma, so much like i'm not going to take care of you anymore or like just let them go um but a lot of time what we need to do is love those broken people out of that brokenness love them in their hopelessness love them in their disobedience love them in their rebelliousness and that love will lead them to repentance there's a song my kids love it goes like I was a dead man walking till you love this dead man back to life something like that you i was a dead man walking until you loved these dead men back to life god loves us in our in our um dirt in our filthiness in our confusion he loves us out of it he leads us out of it so um i was just reminded of that and i started crying and i had to reapply my makeup again because it's just so close to my heart the love of christ how much he loves us and us as human beings we like to give up on people so fast like no i'm trying to change her you cannot change someone only holy spirit can but like you no know, the child is just being disobedient the child just doesn't listen and sometimes really sometimes even the people are under demonic oppression or sometimes they just lost or they're broken but you give up on them so fast and so soon um yeah that was what that is what was on my heart in prayer this morning don't want to turn this into a preachy situation but um, i just thought like i should share i don't know who's probably struggling with loving someone who's really just crazy as they say i was crazy but really the person is just lost um i will encourage you to continue loving that person i will encourage you to continue being there for that rebellious teenager showing up for that rebellious teenager and your love will lead them to repentance i'm getting late <laughs> Where you go, I'll go. Winter 
the summer. Alright guys, I am now in the parking lot of the Grove Mall. I came to do a few things, to run a few errands. First thing is get myself coffee. <laughs> so the agenda for today is I need to get a few things. I need to get myself a bra. Um, you guys know that I'm a minimalist, so I really don't own a lot of things, including my bra. Like as, at the moment, I'm only having one bra. So I'm thinking of maybe going to buy myself two bras because this one is like old. Like things are literally coming out. Things that are supposed to be sewed in are coming out and popping out. So <laughs> I need to throw this bra away and buy two bras that I can use. Perhaps a white and a black one or a brown and a black one. Because like before, like I said, I only had one bra and it worked perfectly for all occasions. Um, I need to get that. And then I need to get those black plastic bags for my husband when he goes into the shower first we were doing the whole bucket wash thingy but now i bought a chair and he can sit in the shower with the one leg out but then we noticed that the steam is making the area wet and it's not good for the wound to heal when this when the um see i mean the verband is wet so we're gonna buy those black plastic bags tie them on every time it goes into the shower so the steam does not go in there i don't know i was actually today supposed to pick up my car my husband bought me a car um i was supposed to pick it up today i'm still gonna hear what time will that be perhaps it's gonna be tomorrow i'm not really sure but i would love to pick up my car with you guys we went for a much more bigger car this time hubby also um got himself a car his car is not here yet so this bmw is gonna go to somebody else we are blessing someone with this car um we don't want to be hoarders we don't want to um to have so many things honestly it's not necessary when somebody else can can use the car we, i don't think it's godly at all to hoard and to have a lot of things if you have one car that can take you from point a to b then that is good so i'm grateful for that i'm talking too much let me go get some coffee and we do what we need to do at the mall my husband is waiting for me at least I made sure before I went, you guys, that he's okay. He's got his remote controls. He has got... I made him some coffee. So he's good. I made sure before I leave the house that he's at least good. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Cause darling, I'll stay, I'll stay, I'll stay right here with you. it's another day today is dedicated to my husband i'm running his errands <laughs> he's quickly on the phone but we are at bank ventuk over here he needs to go in quickly and run his errands i guess i'm just like his driver today kids are at school so yeah are you okay no. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> um, Habi is actually having a meeting there by the coffee shop and the person is already there waiting for him. So while you do your coffee date, what should I do? I'll be on my phone editing a video. <laughs> Since I'm your driver, I don't really have anything to do here. 
three days later. Said with this meeting, I was waiting in the car for him, just editing a video on my phone. Um, now I have to take him to the doctor's office. He goes two times a week for dressing, so that's what we're gonna do now. And then we pick up the kids from school. Ooh, and I would always find somewhere to hide when we were kids, so we could see and hear the water run. The river's gonna cry when you're gone. gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you're. River's gonna cry when you're. River's gonna cry when you're gone. We are going to this place take pictures um, so we can go to the soccer place where I'm gonna be playing soccer to give in the forms and it's gonna be fun to play the sport. Are you excited to play soccer? Yeah. You're gonna do good? Yeah. I think so too. How are you feeling, my boy? Just feel good. Ah, you nervous? <laughs> You're gonna do great. Jade is still not done practicing. Um, we are here at a bush because it's literally just close by. What's the place name again? DTS, where Jade plays soccer. Good in you. I'm going to pick up my son now. I'm walking, I'm not driving. Like I said, the place is literally just close to Bush Bar. So it's nice to take walks sometimes. <laughs> when I picked him up, he's like, Where were you? Where were you? Where were you? <laughs> he was expecting to see me where I was sitting. He's like, Where were you? He thought we had left him. You guys are here. So we're like, oh, let's just wait for Jade and when he's done, he's going to be hungry. Is that true? Yes. Are you hungry? Yes. <laughs> starving. Are you starving? Yes. See the beautiful world around, want to see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note. Real far, let's get out. We can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air near the country. 
countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Hey, darling I love it when it's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two Hey darling You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real fast Countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand You see this knob there? Mm -hmm. And to push it down, mm -hmm. you just push it forward. Ooh. And to just to take it up, FM radio. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it's fine. I, I guess I'll figure it out. Yeah. As long as I just know where the. <laughs> Where the gears are, like where is, yeah, because it's it's not right there. Because I'm used to driving the BM, it's not right there, so no, it's no, right it here. Just right Drive, here. reverse, yeah. park is here, and then the handbrake is yeah. this little button over yeah. here. Yeah. yeah, no, I think aircon is there, aircon is over there. Yeah. Okay, 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 you will figure it out. Yeah, I'll figure the it fan, out. Fan is there, yeah, up for lower. We need to anoint it before we drive it. We need to lay hands on it. We don't have anointing oil. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for it. Thank you, Father, that you are the chief and father that every every small and every great gift, Lord, we acknowledge that everything good comes from you, Lord. Amen. Yes. Kwa dikwa you can go into the car. This car is so high. <laughs> like it's so very high. Very very high. I've never driven a high car well, before. I am saying this is the life. I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm. Um, so mama, I feel like I'm driving a truck. Like that's how high it is. Mama, truck is more. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. I'm so happy for her. Plus, the car is so comfortable. Like there's so much space for my feet. Oh, I feel like a queen in this. In this. Let's just call it a throne. We can look back someday. And I want to show you guys how I parked you guys like the car is so huge and I'm not used to it yet and I'm so scared because I can't really see nicely so yo guys I still have to learn have mercy on me whoever is gonna park next to me oh <laughs> my baby I love you so much I'm so grateful <laughs> I have to drive my husband for Yo, we don't want to put time to it because God can do miracles. Right, baby? God can do miracles. Someday, baby, don't you understand that we only give one love.
Um, lunch was great. It was nice being with our friends. They're such lovely people. We love them so much. Um, so now we're going to go home and rest. I'm going to see you another day. <laughs>